today. Sam Bay here. Had some steak, had some friends up here for the weekend. Left a bit of rump steak behind. I've been eating up at mum and dad's lately, so it's unlikely that I'll be eating it. But what I am going to do is turn it into jerky. And normally when I'd make jerky, I don't use steaks like this. I'll get whole top side and I'll get the butcher to slice it with the grain. So it just comes off in big strips like this rather than being cut off across the grain like a steak does. Now one of my favourite mixes for the dressing is just a simple ground pepper. This is a four peppercorn medley. Black, white, red, green peppers. I've just crushed them up fairly coarse. So anyway, let's get on with the job. I like to cut the jerky about a quarter of an inch thick. Just nice slices. A little bit thick, it doesn't matter too much. Now to dry it, I've got a dehydrator. But what I've also done in the past is just use it in my fan forced oven. Just put the oven on the lowest setting. Make sure that the fan's going. I just pop the top of the door open with a wooden spoon. Just to make sure that there's a bit of airflow there and just leave it going for about five or six hours. Now when you're making jerky, you want to make sure that you get the leanest cuts you can. Because when the fat dries, it can go rancid. That's why I normally use topside steak, it's fairly lean. Some people use brisket or silver side. But this rump steak is fairly good as long as you trim it up properly. And I just roll it in the pepper. Right on, I've got the meat seasoned. Now it's just a matter of laying it out on the tray and then getting the dehydrator started. Just lay the strips out so they're not touching. I'll just come and check it in about four to five hours. Right up, Sambo again. Beef jerky is done. Fairly dry, just the way I like it.
That is just absolutely bloody beautiful. So there you go, homemade beef jerky. Very simple, very easy. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.